What's going on guys, Oddman MC back at you with another episode here on the Scoutcraft server. And I was just spending some time by the stables, hanging out with our skeleton horse friends, and we ended up catching this guy. So this is a wandering trader that I found, and I named him Trevor. But I think even with a name tag and in a boat, and I don't know what, what is he looking at? Just his head is looking over that way. Maybe he's looking at Marrow over there. I think he's going to despawn anyway. But I wanted to keep him as long as I could because I love these little blocks that we can get. I would love to get some of these barrels for sure. And then maybe just some of these other ones that look really, really cool. They would be great to add just some texture and just some little things going on. So I'm going to try to get some emeralds and we're going to try to trade with this guy before he despawns. What are you doing in my base? I have lit up almost every square inch of this place. Seriously. Oh. Maybe it's over there. Anyway, we got some emeralds. We have some barrels. We're going to pick up some of those micro blocks and trade with our buddy Trevor. There we go. And I only got eight. Is that really all he's going to give me? Is eight? I'm not having it. I wanted more. Now, if you saw the title of this video, you know exactly what we're doing. We're building a house. Out of TNT. Now we're building a house out of TNT because we were kind of challenged, but not really challenged, in our Discord by our buddy Leaguer Gaming. Seriously, he didn't actually challenge us. I just kind of took it upon myself to build a house out of TNT. And I think this is going to be the perfect spot for it. It's out in the open. There's nothing around here that could possibly hurt us. I'm going to clear out this area a little bit and then we're going to start building the house. Let's do it! guys the TNT house actually does not look too bad I tried to use just what I could fit in my inventory and what I had ready to go you see I added some windows I did some shrubbery around the outside and I had this little fencing up front just to kind of make it look a little more homey but I think it looks really good let's check out the inside really quick I didn't have a whole lot on me I had some barrels left over from when we traded with Trevor at the beginning of this and we got a little bit of a bed but you know this place is looking pretty good oh no 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 and I'm I'm at spawn luckily I was able to get a boat and now we're gonna try to make our way back to our base wish me luck three days later okay after a while we finally made it back to our base so I'm gonna try to get some spare gear and we're gonna run in that direction and try to find out if anything we had survived I'm very nervous because I had my elytra on I'm so glad I got the diamonds out I might have to see if I can buy some elytra later but I'm gonna grab some extra gear and yeah we'll see what we got this place is absolutely destroyed I'm not seeing any of my stuff. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I lost all my, all the stuff I had on me. Oh man. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we learned our lesson there. Don't build a house out of TNT. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm going to take a break for now. And I'm going to try to get uh, some stuff back. So uh, I'm going to record tomorrow, but I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. It took me a while, but I finally did get another pair of Elytra. So that was fun. 
and then I had enough uh, netherite in my uh, storage to actually build another Midas Touch Silk Touch pickaxe, but I'm going to have to get some more later and get enough to get my sword, and I need to build a new bow as well. Luckily, I had enough firework rockets. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't firework rockets. It was actually my gunpowder farm was actually working really well. So I actually was able to get some firework rockets so I could actually fly around. So we're sort of back in business, but not completely. We are now over here in the shopping district where I wanted to end the video with something that I was thinking about for a while. So over here by the Ewok is where everyone is coming as we work on the space station and we inspect the computer and try to keep an eye out for meteors. But you know what scientists really, really like? Melons. That's right. We're going to make a melon cart. Now you might be wondering where this idea for a melon cart came from. Well, in my own personal discord, which you guys should totally go join, there's a link in the description down below. One of my followers on there uh, asked me what my favorite show was and I told them it was Avatar The Last Airbender. And if you guys know that show at all, you know there's this famous man in this clip. <laughs> oh, my cabbages! The Cabbage Man. And I thought it would be really, really cool if we could, you know, make a cart that was also similar to that. So I thought, what do we have that's similar to cabbage? And I thought, melons. So I'm going to finish filling out some dirt here just to kind of make this place look a little bit better. We got some mycelium growing, I'm trying to stop that. I should just get some grass blocks. But then we, I think we're going to build our melon cart like right over here, just so it's like right by the Ewok. So if the scientists get hungry, they can come on down and get some delicious melons. there we go we've got old man odds melon cart i think this thing looks pretty good i do need to get some gates for the front kind of for like uh the stirrups where a uh, person would sit and then the horses would pull it and maybe i'll get some horses over here that would be actually be kind of cool but for now i think this looks really good i'm going to stock this up with melons and then maybe next episode we'll get into something that will help us with this cart I don't know. We'll see what's going on. All right, guys, that is all the time I have for you today. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and always hit that bell so you know when I'm uploading content. Don't forget, you can always follow me on social media such as Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm everywhere, literally everywhere. So I will see you guys next time, but always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.